It's a Sunday ritual almost as regular as a church service. Citizens, your activities have not been approved by the authorities. Can't I walk through the park to go shopping? Do I have to get authorization even for that? We live here. Our homes are here. Why do we have to put up with this? <laughs> it's a disgrace. The bone of contention is a wooden cross the Russian Orthodox Church set up to mark the spot where a church is soon to be built and as a symbol of its power. About a dozen of the new church's future congregation have been lobbying for it for some time. Just a few metres away, some local residents strike a note of protest and try to drown out the hymns. I pray for these non-believers. I pray and confess. This is a dispute between Mother Russia and those who would destroy the state. Those people over there aren't true Christians. True Christians don't act like that. But we live here, we take walks here, sing our songs, and in the summer our children play in the park. Where else can they do that? The residents point out that there are many other new churches in the area. The one planned for here would cost them a large piece of their park. And in Moscow, parks are few and far between, while there are more than enough churches. They also criticize the church in general, saying it's gaining ever more power in Russia. Its power comes from the state, bolstered by the police and the media. Pro-Kremlin broadcaster NTV described the residents as dangerous sectarians, editorializing that the state is right to act against them. Security forces arrested about 40 people out of their homes, alleging suspicion of terrorist activities. Sergei Makakin brushes off the allegation as ridiculous. His apartment and his mother's were both searched, with no warrant or witnesses, he says. It was entirely illegal. I don't sleep well. I have a bad heart. And that morning I had just managed to fall asleep when the doorbell rang. It was the police at 6 a.m. They came in. I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven men. The aim of these acts was to intimidate the people opposing this church. The church itself insists that the cross in the park is a symbol of Christianity and that anyone who opposes it opposes the state religion. In fact, Russia has no state religion. The church leaders say they're looking for a solution, but more is at stake. In our world, it is very important to uh, find and secure the very pillar of Christian civilization. Russian society has gone through the period when all traditional values have been suppressed during the Soviet period, and now we are trying to restore uh, understanding of tradition. The values of traditional family is something that is very traditional here in Russia. The protesters against the new church say it's not about traditional family values, it's about civil liberties. They have to stay vigilant, even at night. They keep watch in a van by the park, just in case the bulldozers move in to start construction. What are you accused of? They also have to defend a fellow protester. He was arrested during the day. The Torfyanka activists are stunned. They're learning that a high price must be paid for civil disobedience in Russia.